Hi everyone and welcome back to Chardé Crochets. For this tutorial we will be making a cool rice stitch bikini top and I'm going to be using Soft Secret from Yarn Bee in the color Biscuit. I love this color. And it is a medium weight for yarn. And then I'm going to be using an F hook, which is a 3.75 millimeter hook. So let's get started. So we are going to start off with our foundation chain. So go ahead and make a slip knot. and then we're gonna chain out our chains. So for an A cup, you're gonna chain out 32 chains, a B cup is 38, a C cup is 44, a D cup is 50, and a double D is 62 chains. Okay, so once you make your chain long enough for your size, we're going to skip that first stitch and single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. I'm going to be single crocheting into the back bumps, so I'm going to skip this first bump and single crochet into the second back bump. But you can use the V's if you prefer to do the V's. But um, yeah, we're just going to be putting one single crochet in every stitch across until we get to the end of the row. Alright, so once you are done doing your single crochets, we'll go on to row two. And in A cup, you should have 31 single crochets. A B cup should have 37. A C cup should have 43. A D cup should have 49 and a double D should have 61. So just double check and make sure that you have that number and also make sure that it is an odd number if you're kind of trying to go in between these sizes. So now we are going to chain one and turn. And we're going to put one back loop only single crochet in the first stitch. So instead of going through both loops, we're just going to go through this back loop here and do a single crochet. And then we'll chain one and skip this next stitch and do a back loop only single crochet in the next stitch. And we're just repeating like that. So chain one, skip one and back loop only single crochet. Chain one, whoops, it's curling. <laughs> Chain one, skip one, back loop only single crochet. And we're gonna do that all the way down. So I will meet you at the end of this row. Okay, and then when you have two stitches left, you should have a single crochet there and then a chain one, skip one, and back loop only single crochet in the last stitch. And that's what it looks like so far. And from here, we're gonna chain one and turn. And now we're going to do front loop only single crochets all the way across. So in this first stitch, we will put a front loop. So instead of the back loop, we're going to go only through the front. Focus. It won't focus. There we go. We're going to go only through the front, pull up a loop, and single crochet. And even in these chain one spaces, we're going to do a front loop only single crochet. So. Just pick up that front loop and single crochet and we'll do that all the way down until we get to the end of the row. Alright, so once we're done with row three, we're just going to chain one and turn. And this side will be the front side and these little holes that we made is where we're going to put our run our string through in row two. So moving on, we're going to yarn, uh, yarn over and do one double crochet. And then we're gonna put one double crochet in every stitch across. 
So go ahead and finish this row and I will see you there. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. And from here we're going to chain one and turn. And now we're going to start on our rice stitch pattern. So the first stitch is a double crochet. And the second stitch is going to be a front post double crochet around the double crochet below. So you yarn over like you're going to do a double crochet. And then you insert your hook from this side and poke it out the other side. So now this this double crochet below is kind of popped forward towards you. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And that's our front post double crochet. And in the next stitch, we'll be doing a back post double crochet. So a back post double crochet is similar. You yarn over, and then you go around from the back and pop that stitch backwards like that. So it's kind of like that and then you pull up your loop and finish your double crochet. And that is your back post double crochet. So basically, we're just repeating that. We're gonna do a front post double crochet, and then a back post double crochet in the next stitch. And we're just gonna keep repeating that all the way down until we have one stitch left and I will meet you there. Okay, and so your second to last stitch should have been a front post double crochet. It should have been the same as what we started with here. So a front post double crochet and then in the last stitch we're going to put a double crochet. And that's what our row looks like now. So from here we're going to chain one and turn. And Okay, so now we're going to start on our decreases. So we're going to put a double crochet decrease in the first two stitches. So yarn over, insert your hook into the first stitch and pull up a loop. Insert into the second stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through three and yarn over, pull through two. And that was our first decrease. And now continuing with the rice stitch, you'll see that this is a front post double crochet. So <clears throat> wherever you see a front post double crochet, you're gonna put a back post double crochet. And wherever you see a back post double crochet, you're gonna put a front, front post double crochet. So this was the second stitch this uh, back post double crochet here. So now we're on this front post double crochet as the third stitch. And so we're gonna do a back post double crochet here. So bring your hook from behind and pop that stitch backwards and pull up your loop and do your back post double crochet. And then in this back post double crochet, we're gonna do a front post double crochet. So put your front post double crochet there and we're just going to be alternating that so wherever you see a front post double crochet you're going to put a back post double crochet and wherever you see a back post double crochet you're going to put a front post double crochet and we're going to do that all the way down until you have two stitches left so your um, your second to last or your third to last stitch should be a back post double crochet because that's what we started off with here. Okay, so when you have three stitches left, that stitch your that third to last stitch should be a front post below. So we're going to put a back post double crochet there. And then when you have two stitches left, you're going to do another double crochet decrease. And 
that is what it looks like so far. And I made a note, but that was the first row that we're going to be repeating, that last row that we just did. That's the first row of a two-row repeat. So this is the second row of the repeat. So we're going to chain one and turn. And it's very similar. It's just that one row starts with a back post double crochet. And that was the row before. And this row starts off with a front post double crochet. I mean, after you do your decrease. So what we're going to do is do our decrease, our double crochet decrease in the first two stitches. And then, so we covered these two stitches and now we have a back post double crochet below. So we're gonna go ahead and do a front post double crochet in that stitch. And then in the next stitch, we'll put a back post double crochet. and a front post double crochet and a back post double crochet so it's a pretty easy pattern um, we're just basically repeating those two rows of decreases so we're gonna repeat the alternating post stitches until we get to the end of the row Okay, and then so your third to last stitch should be a back post double crochet below. So we're going to put a front post double crochet there. So like I said, this is this is the row that starts and ends with a front post double crochet before the decrease. And the other row just has a back post here first instead of a front post. So once you have your two stitches left, we'll go ahead and do our decrease, our double crochet decrease. And those are our two repeating rows. So you can see it's already starting to decrease. And it does have a rapid decrease, so it's not a very tall cup. I would suggest if you are a size small that that maybe has a D or a double D cup, you might even want to go a size down because it's it's wide and not tall. Um, that's just how the stitch works up. So we're going to repeat this pattern for a while. Just keep repeating those decreases until you have three stitches left in your row. And for the cup sizes that I have for an A cup, that would be 19 rows until row 19 is finished. For a B cup, that is for um, when row 22 is finished. For a C cup, you'll finish row 25. A D cup is going to finish row 28. And a double D is going to finish row 34. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And I went until I have five stitches in my row. So I was going to do that last row of decrease with you where we have three stitches. So I'm going to chain one and turn, and in the first two stitches I'll do my double crochet decrease. Okay, and then that middle stitch is going to be different for the different sizes. That middle stitch that I have here is a back post double crochet below. So I'm going to put a front post here, but some of you, some of the sizes will have a front post in the middle. So if you have a front post in the middle, you'll be putting a back post. Um, <clears throat> so just go along with what that, what your cup is doing there and put the appropriate post. And then in the last two stitches, we'll put another double crochet decrease. So now we have our three stitches left, and now we're going to chain one and turn. And now we're going to double crochet three together. So yarn over, insert your hook into the first stitch, pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through two, but don't finish. Then yarn over again, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, 
yarn over and pull through two, but don't finish. And then yarn over and insert your hook into the last stitch and pull, pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two. And once you're here, you should have four stitches on your four loops on your hook. So yarn over and pull through all four. And that is the top of our cup. And we're going to go straight into the ties. So you can start chaining out your, your top tie here. And so for a size small, you can chain out 100 chains. A medium can do 115 chains. A large can do 125. A 1X can also do 125. And a 2 and 3X can do 140 chains. And once your chain is long enough for your size, you can go ahead and fasten off. Okay, so now you're just going to repeat that first cup and make a second. And then we're going to do our bottom tie here that we're going to weave in. Okay, so what we want to do is we're just going to chain out a really long chain. So make your slip knot and start your chaining. So size small, you're going to chain out 255 chains, a medium is 275, a large is 295, a 1X is, one, is 315, a 2X is 335, and a 3X is 355. So chain out your chains. For, and once you chain out your chain for your size, go ahead and fasten that off on the other end. Okay, so now I'm going to just quickly weave in my little tails. Okay, so now the last thing that we have to do is weave in our long string. So we're going to weave it into row two where we did um, single crochet, chain one, single crochet. That's where we're going to weave it in. So we're just going to weave it back and forth. And try to find those little chain one spaces as best you can. Okay, so once you are done weaving in your bottom tie, this is what it looks like now. And uh, the nature of this stitch, it kind of decreases pretty rapid when you decrease every row. So I had to make the bottom a little bit wider so it's meant to fit like kind of in a scrunched style so you need to um, kind of scrunch the cups at the bottom to get that good fit for your cup size it's a little bit wide and that's why I was saying for size small or extra small if you have a larger chest you might want to try a cup size down um, that's just for small that's like a D or a double D if you're a D you might want to try a C cup and if you're a double D you might want to do a D cup but yeah I do love this stitch it's such a pretty stitch a very rich texture um, and it's pretty easy to do you just need to know front and back post stitches but yeah so thank you all so much for joining me I hope you enjoyed this tutorial Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you like this video, leave me a comment. And uh, feel free to share if you have a friend who you think might like this video as well. I do plan on doing a matching bikini bottom. So check, uh, look out for that soon. And uh, I will catch you on the next video. Bye.